Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Frank, and today I want to show you guys something kind of cool. So these are kind of the standard cosplay LED eyes that you've seen all over my channel, on Instagram, wherever. But today, I want to show you something that somebody showed me on AliExpress to make installing these eyes way easier. I made a video on this a while ago, uh, back kind of when the channel had started and really I started kind of taking off with all of this. And the eyes used to be this solid plastic. And through different posts and through different um, tutorials, I've taught you guys how to use heat to bend them. And you know, they're really brittle and they can break kind of easily. And a lot of you have messaged me and posted, hey, I broke them, I didn't heat them enough. How are you doing that? You know, I melted them, I warped them. I think that's a thing of the past though, because somebody sent me a link on AliExpress and he actually found flexible cosplay LED eyes. Now these are the same standard LED eyes that I've been using on all of my helmets, except they come in just an absolute, you know, clear flexible rubber. And this is absolutely game changing. These things are absolutely amazing. And what I just noticed as I was setting up to film this video is they're actually a little bit bigger than the standard LED eyes. So these will fit in larger sockets as opposed to the old ones. So up until now, all of my eyes, like I said, have been these actual solid LED eyes. And I've got a couple laid out because I want to kind of talk about these and what you actually get with this. And like, I'm, I'm so excited about these. You guys have no idea. So right here, you can see my standard LED eyes. And I've actually kind of gone and pre-bent these to some helmets. And the problem with this is you can you know risk overheating them, you can risk warping them and cracking them, and I've broken quite a few of these trying to do this, and I have to use a heat gun to actually get them to warp. Now, where I'm confident in this, or in I have a heat gun that can actually do this pretty you know, easily, obviously I've had to reuse some broken ones for some other methods, but these, these flexible ones are just absolutely amazing, and I went and ordered like 20 of them in a multitude of colors. So again here, you can see this just the size difference between the solid lens here and then this new flexible one. And I've gone and stripped some of the LEDs out of this for other purposes, and now I can use this for any LED system that I want. And I mean, they, they flex absolutely beautifully. The only thing you need to think about is you can actually see the silver tape bunching up around the end. And that's actually how these cosplay LED eyes work. They throw an LED in the side right there, and through the use of silver tape around the borders, they actually reflect the light all through the LED eye. Now, one thing a lot of people have asked me is, hey, you know, I can't see through them. You know, they're kind of, uh, they're too bright and, you know, they're, they're just too difficult to see through. There is actually two sides to these. And I don't believe I talk about this in the uh, original cosplay LED eye video, but there's a very flat side and then there's a rough textured paint side. You want the paint side towards your eyes so that um, the, the LED can actually shine forward out of the actual, um, lens and away from your eye now you can't use these in a very dark room because then you just have a bright led sitting next to your face but when these get close to you you can see enough to walk around to maneuver and my actual eye can definitely see through more of um, this see you can actually tell right there you can see enough to actually walk around a brightly lit room or a con but if you start to get into more of a dark area you're not going to be able to see now these are standard three volt LEDs and you can kind of tell that by the uh, batteries that they actually come with. So you can actually utilize these with something like an Arduino and some type of programming, but you just need to remember the voltage you're putting to this. So you either need to use some type of resistors or if you're actually wiring this into a system, just pay mind to the voltages that they require. I actually sent five volts and then nine volts to an original set of LED eyes and actually ended up burning them out really quickly. They were super bright and looked absolutely great for a couple seconds and then they never worked again. So, you know, just be careful of that. Now, once you cut this system apart, you're then left with a nice little battery pack and some LED eyes that you can then, you know, maneuver around the helmet. In my battle damage helmet here, I actually have the LED eyes moved all the way forward and extended and then the battery pack sits right there in the back where I can turn it on and off and have better access to it. And I have a tutorial showing you guys how to actually do this, but you're able to use actual purse magnets, the same magnets I have scattered across the suit as a positive and negative. So when you clip the helmet in, you can actually you know, use it as a positive and negative and the faceplate will turn on and off. 
and then the whole faceplate is actually wireless. So if you guys wanna learn how to do that, go check out that other video and I'll link that down below. So of course I'm gonna include a link to these down below. Um, they're on AliExpress. I don't know if I saw them on Banggood, so just go and you know search those. Um, unfortunately, the names are a little ambiguous, so I'll try to include a couple links and hopefully they never you know, you know know get canceled or die out. Um, I'll try to update them as frequently as possible. But a couple other things I wanted to show you guys is you've seen in some other videos and I don't have any of them wired up right now. I'm currently in the process of actually redoing a motorized helmet and faceplate but if you've seen in some other videos like this one where the faceplate closes and then the led eyes automatically turn on i'm actually utilizing that with this little trigger switch here and this is just a momentary open close switch and it's interrupting the negative so the battery pack is on currently and when this trigger closes and i have the faceplate actually come down it touches it and you can see the leds turn on and off so you can as long as you position this trigger in the right spot and it's not a bad practice to kind of put it where the hinge arm is. So as the hinge swings open and close, it actually will come down and touch this. And it's very sensitive. It doesn't need a lot of pressure at all. It'll close the circuit and the LED eyes will come on and off. And again, if you're using something like an Arduino, you can program this feature into the, um, the sequence and into the code. So the eyes will flicker or flash or fade on. But if you just want a simple on off like I do, this little trigger works absolutely perfectly and it could just interrupt the system. Even if you wanted to ditch the three volt battery pack um, with the AA batteries or AAA batteries, my bad, you can actually go and get something like a LiPo battery that they use in RC cars. This is a three volt LiPo battery and they can be had for like four or $5 and they're rechargeable. So these are absolutely handy to have. Some of the LED eyes you'll actually order might even come with these little uh, coin batteries that come in watches. And these are actually utilized in these little tea lights that I've actually just in recently done some videos on. And these things are absolutely great too because they give you a cool little flicker led and if you uh, you guys can go and find my video for that if you'd like but they give you a little per a little coin battery and they give you a little flickering led eye and that's actually what i'm utilizing right here inside this faceplate and hopefully when i pick it up it doesn't stop flickering but you can see in there i have one led flickering on the back and then another led kind of flickering over on the side so you can get as creative as you want with these, but I really just wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys these new flexible ones because again, these are gonna make things so much easier, especially with these you know, crazy shaped eyelids and you can cut these to shape, but then what you need to remember is you're gonna lose that silver tape that's here. Uh, so you definitely need to be careful with that. But with how flexible these are, you can probably fit these in a wide variety of helmets. That kind of does it for this guys. They're LED eyes, they're flexible, you can glue them in, you can really do whatever you want with these. And like I said, these are absolutely game changing and they're about anywhere between four to six dollars depending on where you're getting them, what specific vendor um, and how many you're ordering in bulk. Uh, if you order a hundred from AliExpress, the price is obviously gonna go down. So these things are absolutely cool and I was so stoked to get these and just, it's one less thing you have to worry about um, with you know worrying about breaking the eyes. So definitely try to go and pick these up and just keep stocked up. Um, they come in a variety of colors. You can get white, this really nice lighter ice blue, a very, very nice creepy green, a kind of more amber yellow orange, and a very kind of menacing red that would be good for something like War Machine. If this video helped you guys at all and you like this kind of content, please, if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, I have a lot of electronics tutorials coming out that I just, I really want to show you these neat little tips and tricks. So uh, hopefully they help you. And if you haven't already, go join the free cosplay 3D printing discord. There's a link for that down below. You won't regret it. There's so much information and we're almost at 900 members, which is just wild. So thank you so much for all the support and all the love and growth that you guys have helped me with. This is just, this is just awesome. That just about does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much and have a good day.